have a form of decent living. On page 8, we also have another interesting story here. And of course, this is one that I would uh, be very interested to hear your thoughts, given that you're a legislator, you're a mother, um, and, and also a teacher. And there's a story here, lower the age of sexual consent to 16 years uh, proposal by judges. And according to the judges, what they're saying is that uh, they may well have reached an age of discretion and able to make intelligent and informal decisions about their lives and their bodies. This is based on the fact that apparently we have very many young men who are languishing in jail uh, simply because, let me not say simply, but because they were involved with what is known as a minor. Now, anybody under the age of 18 is considered a minor, but according to these judges, they are proposing lowering the age of sexual consent to 16. Your thoughts? And again, I say as a teacher, as a mother, as a leader. Wow. Let me give it the mother perspective first. Mm. I think right from my experience with my own children and the ones that have been handling in school, though at school as a high school teacher, we start handling these girls and boys from around age 13 for those early starters and age 14. Mm. To be honest, I don't really think that at that age these children are Already. understanding themselves enough to uh, be able to make decisions, especially about their sexual um, behavior mm. and, uh, and, and the responsibility that come with it. Mm. Uh, the main reason, as, as we sit here today, I know many communities in this country have never been free to discuss issues of sexual uh, related matters right. with their children. Mm. And therefore, this thing starts rather late in our children's life. Mothers are actually shy to tell even their own daughters or sons, um, and even fathers don't confront it, mm. to tell them about their sexuality and what uh, the various changes in their bodies and uh, the, the behaviors and the consequences of whatever they may do with their body. Enough to make these children um, uh, ready to mm. take responsibility about their uh, sexual behavior. Mm. And as a mother, I think I confirm, even if you told them, like personally I've always uh, tried to tell them, they still don't understand between age 13, 14, 20 and 16, I mean 14 and uh, 15 mm. up to 16, mm. there is still that confusion because whatever is taking place in their bodies is, is so strange yeah, and like so each, each, each day they wake up with a new uh, phenomenon mm. in their body and they're wondering what's that, what yeah, is this? Yeah, and, and the question and here would also be are we tackling it from the wrong end because that does not necessarily deal with the sexual behavior. The fact that you lower the age of consent does not necessarily take care of the fact that they will still be engaging in sex or sexual intercourse earlier than they should. Because again, there is the question of, like you've mentioned, the responsibility that comes with it. For example, if a child or a 16-year-old got pregnant, do they fully understand what that means and what it means for their lives? They really their don't. Form? And that's why I'm saying the, the, the responsibility and the consequences that come with these uh, sex, uh, sexual issues mm are such that at this age, between age 13 and 16, majority of the girls and the boys are still wondering, new things are erupting in their bodies and right. new changes. You know, some of them are early mature, some of them are, are middle mature, some are late mature. Mm. And, 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 and they, they are in the, 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 the state of trying to really understand, understand themselves. themselves and, right. and with that, I think I would really fear to want to lower this age. Mm. And you uh, talking candidly about issues of sexual consent, I, I don't think lowering the age will really help us mm. because, in other words, we are saying we are running away from some responsibility. Our constitution stipulates that our adulthood begin at uh, at least age 18. Right. We have young adults and we can now, uh, and, and, and even chronologically and physiologically, psychologically, mm. uh, people get a little bit more reasonable when they are 18 and above. Mm. And I think even me as a, an adult woman, today if somebody did something to me uh, sexually which is wrong, mm. um, I'm able to consent. Mm. But I think what we are saying here is we are not running away from the, the, the evil that is um, happening. We, we should not mm. try to use age to run away from the evil because we have women, mature women like me in this, in this country, which are 
uh, oftenly sexually abused mm. and molested. And therefore, just talking about the age, as I really honor and respect my, uh, they call themselves learned friends. Mm. I, I think here, they, they, um, they this, this knowledge, before, this knowledge uh, is questionable. Mm. And I would wish that they recheck themselves. Mm. From um, a leader's perspective, I really still want to think that we need to give our children a little more time to mature up. Absolutely. There is no hurry. We don't have to, to copy things. For example, I know what could be informing this kind of information uh, in the West. They talk of 16-year-olds being able to live on their, on their okay. own and things like that. But the, the reality of the matter, I've visited some of these Western countries. I'm telling you, a genuine parent in America, a genuine parent in Europe, will tell you it is pathetic what is happening among their children. These children do crazy things, and if you talk to a nurse in any of those hospitals, they will tell you the, the kind of craziness, sexual that craziness that, that accompanies this kind of movement. And therefore, I'm pleading with Africa. I'm pleading with Kenya. We don't have just to copy-paste things just because the world is doing it. Mm. As a Christian, I really think sexual immorality of any nature is condemnable. And so allowing our children to claim to be able to consent on Idea. their sexuality and then they cannot bear at that age the responsibility that comes with it, for example, those early pregnancies, those sexually transmitted diseases, because it is their parents who are still responsible. In Kenya, I'm telling you as I sit here today, there is even youth in this country who have finished university studies mm -hmm. and because of the nature of uh, joblessness and an inability to fend for themselves, their They're parents still are still the taking charge. Parents, so absolutely. how do you allow even mm -hmm. younger children mm -hmm. to uh, indulge in things mm -hmm. that would definitely affect their lives? Yeah. Their, 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 I mean, this okay. is ruining yeah, our children. And right. I, I, on this